How is everybody? Cool. Awesome. Some of you didn't respond. Cool. Uh, anybody here in a relationship? In a relationship? A few of you guys? Fun? Cool. Me too. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I've been in a relationship for a while, and uh, it's nice when you're in a committed relationship because you can really uh, get comfortable with a person, uh, which is especially in the bedroom, and that's nice for me because I'm uh, timid. Uh, <laughs> A lot of guys are like, I f hard all the time, and that's the only thing I ever do, always. <laughs> and that's not me, even a little bit. I'm more like when you see a deer in the wild, and you're like, oh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? It's a boob. Just come on. Yeah, but uh, luckily for me, my girlfriend says really relaxing things to help get me comfortable, like uh, choke me till I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> You can hit harder than that, you know? <laughs> Things are really just lower, my blood pressure. Uh, I'm a beta male, anybody else in here? Cool, just me? <laughs> awesome, start owning up to it, guys. It's cool, everybody wants to be team captain. Doesn't work like that, doesn't work like that. Somebody's gotta be water boy or you're all going thirsty, okay? <laughs> That's me, here I am. Hell yeah, it's me. Everybody wants to be the knight in shining armor. Can't happen. No. Somebody's got to be the guy who's like, I don't know who poisoned the wine, my lord. Hmm. <laughs> you guys watch Game of Thrones? That's who wins in the end. Okay? That's me. Okay? I just, I don't know. I can't, I can't handle things very well. I get scared so easily by things. And it's just, it's not scary things. Like, there's no, there's nothing that happens. It's just life situations. Like, I was changing in a public bathroom recently. And I had, I took my shirt off. And uh, the door didn't lock. So somebody opened the door while I was in there, and that's an easy problem to fix. You just go, hey. And they're like, oops, person. And they close the door, because there's a person in there. But that's not what happened with me, because <laughs> when I get scared, my whole body is along for the ride. And so they open the door. I want to preframe that. I didn't pick to do this, OK? <laughs> this is just deep-rooted in me, and this is what happened. So they open the door, and uh, my leg went across my body like that, <laughs> protecting the lead singer in the back of dancers from a surprise appearance. Uh, <laughs> And then this hand went here, just like that. <laughs> like I'm a cherub on top of a fountain. <laughs> Don't come in here, occupado. It was bad. It was bad at life. Mike was talking about uh, Ed Sheeran. I have red hair, so that's what everybody thinks I am. Uh, but I had someone come to me the other day, and they're like, you know who you look like? Like who? They're like the rooster from Chicken Run. Cool, and like, you know, it's cool when someone says you look like a celebrity, but that's happened more than once to me, and it's like, someone drew me. Like, that's not a real person, so I don't appreciate that. <laughs> um, do you guys wanna hear a true story? Yeah. Fun, I was gonna tell it anyway. Uh, so, I saw this, and this is wild. So, there was this guy in the news, he uh, showed up to the hospital, and, and he had no possessions with him. All he had was the words, do not resuscitate, tattooed onto his chest which is not the funny part, but for me it is. And uh, they were like, the doctors were like, hmm, what should we do? Should we listen to the tattoo and say, see ya? Or should they go, oh, it's a tattoo and bring this guy back to life? And they had a long think about it and they were like, oh, we're gonna let him go. Which I think is hilarious because we're listening to tattoos now. You could get an inspirational quote that'll f your whole life up. Like something you think is cool, like no matter what, I'm still breathing. <laughs> yeah. What happens when you're choking on a shrimp at Olive Garden, huh? <laughs> Someone runs up to you, oh sir, oh wait, no. He's good guys, he's still breathing. You're thinking ahead, oh, you're dead, no. It could help you though, it could help you. You'd be on trial, they're like, you murdered three people, how do you plead? You just roll up your sleeve, only God can judge me. <laughs> <laughs> the judge is gonna look around and be like, damn it. Let him go, he's got the Lord on his side, we can't do anything about this. Knowing me, I'd get something stupid, like the Nike Just Do It right above my butt, and then I'd die face down like that. <laughs> Somebody walk by. <laughs> That's what he would have wanted, so. <laughs> my name is Noah Coffey. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much.